This one mistake is the biggest block to your dream reality dropping in for you. My name's Erin Worley. I am the author of One Truth, One Law, I Am, I Create, and Lightworkers 101. I love to talk all about oneness, manifestation, the universe, and quantum energy healing. So this mistake that I see so often is someone having this crazy, insane dream. Like literally, it, it looks impossible. And so instead of calling it in, they water it down and they ask for a smaller version of this. But the thing is, the crazy, insane dream that seems completely impossible, that's the one that's making their heart pitter-patter and causing the butterflies in their stomach. That's the one where when they do a visualization exercise, there's tears of joy because this is what they are meant for. It's what their soul and their inner guidance is leading them towards. So when they water it down and say, well, I, I couldn't possibly have this. So instead, I'll just, I'll just take a very mini version of this. What happens is their soul yawns and goes to sleep because this mini version, watered down version is not their life path. The universe doesn't turn its gears because it says, well, that's not where that person's meant to go. They're meant for up here. And visualization or any other sort of manifestation practices for this person feels really, really forced and not fun and uncomfortable. So whereas visualizing the impossible thing might bring tears to your eyes, visualizing the watered down version, it's like you just, you can't even stay in the visualization that keeps slipping. And then you think you're just not a good visualizer. No, you're not calling in the real dream. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about this. What's the crazy impossible dream for you? What's the thing where if this was your reality and you woke up in it, you would be literally buckets of tears would be dripping out of your eyes or like running down your eyes because you would be so genuinely grateful and so amazed that this is where you are waking up today. That's it. That, that's it. And then you go for it. You choose it, even though it doesn't make any sense. It's not supposed to make sense. It's not up to our human minds to show us how we get from A to Z. It's up for us to call, it's up to us to call in the miracle and allow God's source to work its magic to bring it to us. That's the job. That's the level of trust that's required to manifest magic in your life. I send you so much love. I'm hitting my hands on things and <laughs> we'll see you next time.